video real quick on uh, for a buddy of mine that was talking about my irrigation system that I put in. Um, so I'm just going to go through it real quick, run a test on all the valves, and uh, just show them how I incorporated some drip irrigation in with uh, my regular uh, regular sprinklers. Excuse the mess underneath here. Um, there's my sprinkler pump underneath there. Uh, you can see where it comes in the wall from the outside, goes into the pump, then carries up, up through there, um, across the rafters of the garage. Um, comes over, down, <clears throat> and out the wall there. There's a timer. Got a rain sensor right there. That really helps save uh, electricity. Not so much water since I run a well, but it certainly saves uh, electricity for running the sprinklers when we've had plenty of rain. So that works real well. And that uh, comes out down there into the ground. Uh, just got a small pressure uh, pressure tank. Uh, I mounted in a in a valve box. Then it comes down through here. And you can see it to comes in there and then goes through all the valves. And of course all the valves run out through here and then to different areas in the yard. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back in here I'm going to run a test. It's going to be a quick test. It'll just be one minute on each zone. So I'll kind of show you what I have going on here. Let's run test. We'll go down. Run on test. We'll go down to one minute. And then we'll start. Hear the pump kick on. Again, this would be a quick, uh, quick test. And I did put all this irrigation in myself, and it uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, See, so we've got six sprinklers on this zone. Nothing fancy on here. <clears throat> well, water's cold. And then we've got this zone right here. Just see six sprays. Three on the left hand side, and three on the right hand side. Next couple of zones will get a little bit complicated. I've added on to a few different things. <clears throat> this zone here is the side lawn. Um, got six sprinklers along the side here. One on the side. Also added a small uh, spray here to for these. Uh, plants out here that we added afterwards and then I've also ran tied off the sprinkler here and ran a drip line here for this hanging basket and also I've got a, a drip here for this hanging basket. Okay, that one 
one off here. And pull along the back side. And the zone here, I'm going to sneak by the sprinkler here. This is running um, five regular hunter sprays in the back here. I've got a um, MP rotator on this one here. Just getting a lot of the area by the pond. And so that sprinkler does real well. It's going to put out the same amount of gallons per minute that these big heads do. And that's why I don't just have like a regular spray head there. Um, like I said, it puts out the same amount. Of, otherwise, that would get soaked over there. Then we've got these other three heads triangular spacing here in the back. And on those, I do have them hooked also into those pots. So those spray heads there. Um, the, or the, I'm sorry, the zone back here will water those pots. Next zone here I have my garden. See I've got these three sprays here and they're really um, clamped down tight. I'm not putting out a tremendous amount of water. And they do these garden pots. Does this drip irrigation. You can see the hole there. Water's coming out. Water in this bed here. And it's also got sprays all along again in the front for this bed here. We've got five sprays all along the beds and the garden and the side area there. The last zone here will be you've got these pots here that have got. Um, drip irrigation in them. This one down in here that's got the water coming out of it. That hang basket. And I've got drip. That drip is running all the way through here. And then this side all here, there's drip. That brown drip tubing that's right there. And along with that, also putting some water to my fruit tree here. That peach tree takes a lot of water. And then back here again in the backyard, all along the backyard here, these sprays are on that zone. So it's kind of a quick rundown. <laughs> Uh, but I do it so nothing gets overwatered. I'm not wasting any water. Um, I can set these different zones to go off at different times. So maybe these beds here, they don't require so much water. Um, you know, I can just have come on every other day, every third day, to where my garden. I like to have a lot of water in that. So I can have that come on every day. It's, uh, there's Mama Bird in her nest up there. I forgot. She don't like to be bugged out here, so <laughs> she'll appreciate the sprinklers and the worms, though. Anyhow, just thought I'd run through that, to uh, show you what I've got as far as irrigation goes and how you can tie different things on to uh, different areas and uh, not have to worry too much about uh, gallons per minute or about reducing too much flow. So, again, there's the valves and the uh, pressure tank. Let's just pops on here. Like that. That right, pops back down on there. Hose reel goes back on there, and you almost can't tell anything's even there. Alright, some people like it, some people not. <laughs> we'll see you guys.